everybody, welcome back to another video, it's Mr. McTaco, and today we are doing a Minecraft video, and in the last episode we uh, were working in the mine on the K12 creative server, which has been getting a lot of progress done, but one thing that hasn't been getting a lot of progress is the mine, because I'm doing that on... Anyways, I'm doing that on the video, of course. But anyway, last time, or in the last video, we worked on this little cavern right here with the um, support the support beams that we made, uh, which look very nice. And, of course, the water supply that is right here with the fog effect, which is so cool. And, of course, also the lava cavern over in here with the coal deposit. And I said in this episode, we are going to switch it to day. In this episode, we are going to be working on the inside of this area. Um, this is another cavern, kind of like over there, that needs some work. It's really just like a big square. Uh, with lots of glowstone, a little bit of a weird build right here. So basically what we're going to do, as I kind of kind of hinted at in the last episode, we are going to make a tr mine train, um, similar to this little pathway we have right here. Uh, we're going to have a mine train, we're going to replace this little road, um, and build some sort of train with some mine cars, big mine cars on the back. It's going to go through here, um, and last episode, I built a little bridge uh, to kind of make it so there's something to walk across, even though the train tracks will be going through this cavern. And also shape the cavern a little bit, curve the walls, um, and add in some of the texture to the walls like we did over there. Um, and kind of clean up some of this glowstone. We might even have some sort of control area over in the corner like us here, but just make it look a little bit better and clean it up, not have the glowstone everywhere. So that's what we're going to be working on in this video. But if you guys enjoyed the last video and you are looking forward to this video, please drop a like on the video. Touch, slam that like button if you don't mind. And subscribe if you haven't already, as I'm trying to get my uploading schedule back up uh, to a little bit more regular. So I'm trying to maybe get a video, I don't know, every every other week maybe, uh, and try and get it better than that soon. Um, but yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's start the video. Um, first thing we're going to do, I think we should probably remove all of this stuff. And I think I want to block off uh, this area over here, just because I feel like this is just kind of an unnecessary space, and we can kind of block it off with some sort of uh, fake wall. Um, kind of start by outlining the general shape of how it's going to go. I think this looks pretty good. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to check that the recording software was working. Uh, anyway, what I was working on is building up a fake wall. Uh, right now, I'm just making it flat just to get a little bit of an idea of what we could have here. Um, I think that actually, I think that actually doesn't look too bad. Um, if we just add in a little bit of detail down here. Kind of blend it in with the wall. Maybe add in a few blocks there. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, of course, we're kind of going to have to shape this entire room. Uh, just to look a little bit less of a square. Um, which it does look like currently. And we have this giant support beam structure thing. Um, which is looking a little bit out of place. I um, think we're probably going to have to come in at some point and kind of add some stone around here. 
kinda just like how I'm doing right now. I think that looks pretty, pretty good on how I kinda want it to look. Kinda make it look like it's in the rock. Um, the Rock Johnson. But anyway, we are just blocking, working on blocking up some of the cave entrances um, in this place. There was one there and one over here. Um, just to make it look a little bit better. And I think I need to take out this. So, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when that's all done. Hello guys, it's back again. In the last clip, uh, that last clip was actually taken a few months ago. As you can see, I got my winter gloves and scarf on now. It's winter time in real life. But we're back on the server again. We're not going to be working on the mine. We may get to back to that in a future time. But there are some new projects on the server. Last time when I was recording, um, the... City was a little bit of a big project. A little bit of a big project. It was just starting out. We're expanding it again, so we're probably going to work on that a little bit. But each episode, I'm going to start, even though this isn't the beginning of the episode, but I am going to start with a little bit of a speed build of this pixel art. As you can see, I've already started it. Here is it on the map. I've already started a little bit of it. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but I'll give you a hint. It is from a video game. We're going to do a little bit each episode, do a little bit of um, uh, work on it. And we have Dr. TNT on the server as well. He is really good at commands and stuff, so we may check out some of the command things he's working on sometimes. But anyway, um, he... We're going to uh, work on this a little bit, and I'll be back in just a second. And there we go, guys. We're done with today's pixel art uh, chunk. Uh, as you can see, we did a little bit. I did a little bit of more of the border down here, um, and filled in this little shape up here. Um, so yeah, I every episode I'm going to do some. I want to see what you guys think it is. Probably won't be able to see anything for a few episodes, just because um, I'll mainly be doing the border. I'm just trying to get the big outline of it. And also, yeah, this is just a small chunk. This is like a one-fifth, or, or the bottom edge, that's only one-fifth of the whole length. So this is going to be a huge project, um, but it's going to look really, really awesome when it's done, even, even now that look. Even just one little shape done. I can tell you that looks really cool and uh, very similar to what the uh, it'll look like when it's done. I never thought of using maps. Maps, it makes it look so good. So, yep, there we go. That is today's, today's part of the pixel art. Making progress. And now let's go work on the new project in the city. Okay, guys, here we are in the city. Uh, this is just a little bit of it. Uh, the commercial area, still working on. Um, as we fly over this way, this is like kind of the main part of the city right now. We have the housing area. Being very nice, very, very nice. Uh, lots of cars popping up in the city. Makes it seem like people are living here. It's pretty fun. Got like a little intersection here. And then we have the highway, the tunnel through the mountain. Here we go. So we have, we've been working on this quite a bit, laying out the roads and, and working on the walls and everything like that, putting in the signs. And that's pretty much done. So now we are over in this area. Dr. TNT made a very cool paint rolling machine. I think it looks very, very cool. That just looks like it actually is painting the roads. It's so cool. 
But anyway, guys, you may be able to recognize what this looks like. This is a highway. I don't know the technical term of the type of highway it is. But we have the four-lane highway coming in here. The one lane on the middle goes up and over, and the ones on the sides go out to little intersections, which will uh, go to the smaller roads. Um, just checking the roads. It doesn't look perfectly square for some reason, but we'll just figure that out eventually. But this is what we're working on right now. We have this cool highway project. I think it looks very, very cool. Um, we were originally just going to go straight through. That kind of looks boring in my opinion. Kind of looks a little bit dull. But this way, it's going to look really cool with all the different lanes intersecting and all of that. So I think I'm pretty excited for that. If you guys are... Drop a lake. That's cheesy. Um, never mind. Um, anyway... We're going to work on this a little bit. As you can see, this lane comes out to the side and then branches into two lanes. So, like, you can have more cars. There is a ravine underneath, so that's a little bit annoying. But, anyway, there is this lane here. And this looks pretty cool if you ask me pretty proud of how this thing is coming along it's kind of like an out of the fly on the fly thing anyway I don't think the line looks very good so we're gonna have to go with a dotted line here to look like well cool. you can go over into this lane there's not quite enough of a lane to really go over too much but I think that's enough and it looks okay. Anyway, another thing is this lane is going to be four wide on each side. So it's going to be nine in total since four and four and then the one in the middle to divide. So we're going to have to convert this to a road like that. As you can see right now, this lane is five wide. So I think what we're going to have to do is do something like that. Even though most Minecraft cars are three wide, we can always have them um, look a little bit different when they get to that area. If we look here, it should be four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we actually don't need that, and the road will come up to there. These are the things we figure out while building roads in Minecraft. But if you've never built any roads in Minecraft, I definitely recommend trying it. It's kind of fun to try and take something in real life and try and build it in Minecraft. Uh, it kind of, I don't know, makes it makes it feel like you're you're bringing realistic things into a game because that's what you're doing. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Um, now I just need to copy it and fix up the roads a little bit, and I'll do that really quick. Okay, here we go. I worked a little bit on the uh, highway here. We, I fixed up the intersection. Um, it wasn't even, so fix it up. Make sure it's all nice and even now. Um, I made, filled in, and finished this little lane that goes out back to the um, highway. So, it's looking good. Um, and I started, I, I finished the little guide, or the side line, or whatever, that goes um, on the edge of the highway. And I was thinking of maybe adding some walls along here to look kind of like a fence. Um, I'm not sure how if it'll look good. It looks okay, but maybe some iron bars might look good. Let's get rid of these. 
pop in some iron bars. Okay. Mm, yeah. Maybe if we go... If they go all the way down? Well, I mean, no one's going to be walking on the highway, but mostly it's just for looks. Um, oh, that looks okay, I think. So, yeah, if we put that down here... We do still have to do the guardrail or this stone thing on the other side. That's going to take a little while. Well, I think that looks pretty good. Looks kind of like that fence on the highway. Um, I guess the next project we have to extend this road over to the other lane. You can see I also started with this going up here as well. Um, so I guess the next part is to extend this lane over so we have the full overpass. I also did a little bit of the outlining for this one on the side. And since it's on the right side, where it's going to go like this, so I, you would pull in. And then you would merge, and then down to the city. So I think that's that's pretty good. As I said, uh, working on extending this big thing up the middle, and then also the other lane on the other side. A little thing that I added is this um, under part that covers the walls. Um, reason it's exposed on that side, that's where this will go, so we'll cover that. Um, and then eventually we're going to have to have some supports along here and replace all this concrete in the middle with grass or maybe some dirt or something underneath because it's not getting much rain. I think we'll probably mix in a little bit of coarse dirt and some dead plants underneath. That might look good. Um, but yeah, this side is pretty much all done. We have the two lanes and the guardrail. And I think the only thing that's probably not done is the filling in of the grass, but we're going to work on that eventually. So yeah, I think I'm going to fill in this other side of the lane now, and we'll see how that looks when that's done. But anyway guys, that's all we have time for today. Um, I don't want to keep the video, I don't, I want to keep them relatively short, I don't want them to be too, too long, but uh, we've kind of switched around projects a lot the next episode we'll get um fully into the the project instead of like the mine and then that and all that but we'll start with the pixel art and then we'll work on this a little bit more add in the other lane as i say as i said um it'll be really really good so if you enjoyed the video please drop a like on the video and comment what you think the pixel art might be if you have any ideas so far and subscribe if you have not already, if you're new to the channel. Um, but we want new subscribers for LEGO um, content and Minecraft content and sometimes vlogs and haul videos and a bunch of cool stuff. So if you like, if you're into that sort of thing, um, please subscribe. And anyway, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. It's been Mr. Taco. Have a good day.